Let's see what Captain Marvel fans think about Captain Marvel 2. Looks like Captain Marvel's coming back and... Yeah, should be interesting. Captain Marvel fans think doing this in the sequel would be a huge mistake. I think the whole sequel itself is a huge mistake, so I guess we agree on probably these points. Holding a movie with one character is not an easy task, but when the title is about one superhero, fans expect that will be upheld. When Brie Larson was picked to play Captain Marvel, everyone thought it would be an origin tale featuring exclusively her. Some fans are still carping over the fact that they paired her up with another adventure instead for the movie. Um, okay. So, they want less of other characters and more Captain Marvel? That's the first complaint? I guess I disagree. Even if there were trolls who went after Larson for a more understated performance, there's a growing consensus now that Captain Marvel 2 has to let Larson's Carol Danvers be the center of attention. Wow, because Captain Marvel didn't get enough attention in Captain Marvel? After all, there's still a lot to learn about where she came from and exploring what it's like for her being a woman superhero in the modern age. <sighs> How about, in a lot of cases... It means kick everybody's ass, and you don't have an actual trial, an actual suffering, you know, just be incredible. That's usually what it's about, and that's actually a problem, because it actually demeans women and puts them down and doesn't bring them up. Real, good women are good characters with struggles and flaws and mistakes, and the bad women characters are like Rey and, let me think, Captain Marvel. Should there be more flashbacks in the sequel? A lot of fans who like Captain Marvel say there should be more chances to flash back to the 1990s where the first movie took place. However, they also want to hear more 90s music, something the soundtrack didn't utilize much, likely due to rights issues. I don't want that. I don't want to see my favorite 90s music played with Captain Marvel. I'm from the 90s, pretty much. I grew up in the 90s, and that's some of my favorite music, and I do not want to see that with Captain Marvel. Not that I'm actually going to see it anyway. Some people say here that maybe flashbacks are not the best idea because they don't always work. Something like that. And okay, I don't mind them, to be honest. Depends on how good they are. Depends on if they actually fit in the story. I don't like flashbacks that still keep mysteries going. If it's a flashback, just show us what happened and give us, you know, some info. But I don't mind them personally. The biggest problem with the first film, according to Reddit users, is the main story revolved around the Avengers rather than Carol's own story. Maybe the fans can argue her tale was more intellectual, something that seems to be a liability in a comic book film. From the perspective of Brie Larson, she found Carol's uneasy balance between her unemotional Cree side and her flawed human side to be one of the best superhero character studies. Of course it was. Again, fans think the sequel shouldn't be about teaming up with the Avengers. I think there should be, I don't know, less Captain Marvel and more Avengers. Just my personal opinion. Those who have seen the first Captain Marvel no character never teams up with a youngster, Nick Fury from the 90s, before he loses his eye, something not everyone loved. And, you know, well, I think people didn't like him losing the eye. People liked him, and I heard people say they're going to see this movie just for Nick Fury and for Samuel L. Jackson. And some people did. And I said, hell no. Just because there's one good character in there doesn't mean I'm going to go see Brie Larson playing Captain Marvel, or watch Cardboard for two hours. Yeah, watch Cardboard for two hours. So they're concerned, you know, that she might team up with Thor or Loki or another woman or something like that. That's probably the best thing they could do for Captain Marvel 2. They go on to say here how, you know, Marvel movies end up somehow including Avengers, that they gotta be tied in and involved with everything, and, you know, I don't know. If the story is good, it's good. I'm not so concerned about who has to be where. According to Brie Lawson from recent interviews, she says there isn't any set date on when Captain Marvel 2 will arrive. All possibility exits Marvel is still working out what direction they'll go in with the sequel and whether Lawson can convince them to make it a true solo tale. Alright. Well, we know the direction. I don't know which article's older, but the article I just covered was about how the writer is an uber-feminist, according to her words. She hates Trump, you know, she's way on the left, and she's into pushing the feminist message. So we know what kind of movie Captain Marvel 2 is going to be. It's going to be a very woman power, very, very feminist movie. 
And that is not really the type of movie for me, but that's the type of movie that I cover and that I don't like seeing. I like seeing nice, balanced movies that you can enjoy with a good story. And this looks like it's going to be propaganda. I don't know yet, I'm speculating, but based on the way this writer looks, that's a fair speculation. All right, here she is here, and this is the woman. She is an open feminist. She claims she's a feminist, and she claims she wants to have her messages in Captain Marvel 2. She's going to focus on that in the writing. So we do know what kind of story this will be. It's going to be about Captain Marvel probably whooping a lot of men's butts, like the motorcycle guy whose you know, hand she crushes or something like that. She's not really going to take any actual damage. She's not going to have any actual drawbacks and things like that. She's going to beat everyone. She's going to have some super crazy powers. And that's going to be the movie. And am I going to see it? That's very doubtful. Am I going to talk about it? A lot. And also, I guess Brie Larson is going to come back in the spotlight. And let's see what she says. I wonder if she starts to like white dudes now. We'll see. This is going to be a real test to see if the woke age is continuing or not. Anyway... Doing shoutouts, special thanks, things like that. If you haven't, click that subscribe button, smash it, press it, doing pop culture, Star Wars, all kind of stuff, the occasional Japan vlog, and I will see you next time.